know if you could take it Know you wanna see me naked, naked, naked I wanna be a baby, baby, baby Spinning in his wedges like he came from Maytag Hi everyone, finally I'm about to give you my top 10 hip hop songs that I really loved this spring uh, I know it's been like, I don't know, it, now it's June 18 as I'm recording this video and like spring is all the way already gone now it's full time summer but like just wanted to like reflect uh, on the spring finally like after all this time uh, to go back and kind of like give you out my favorite songs like my favorite hip hop songs I already gave my favorite pop songs and I hope that you watched it because the list was pretty damn good in my opinion but now it's time for um rap songs and it's been a lot of great ones as well uh we got albums like kendrick lamar uh <laughs> we got albums like damn by kendrick lamar everybody by logic which was also good um uh, drake's more live joy badass uh, all american badass futures uh, both albums there has been a lot of uh rap albums that i loved and uh, we're gonna talk about them Let's get it. So let's start off with things, uh, with like honorable mentions that I want to make before going to a top 10 play, uh, playlist. The last time in my top pop songs, I did like, I actually gave my, gave my um, top 10 and then listed honorable mentions. But today I'm going to do the opposite because I want to talk about the, like the albums I have already mentioned and then give my uh, list. So basically, um, my honorable mentions would be Future's Mask Off Remix by Kendrick Lamar. Uh, so like Kendrick Lamar hopped on the Mask Off and gave a great verse in my opinion, like it was really good. I did mention Mask Off song, which I really loved in my top 10, top 20, <laughs> that time, uh, in my uh, winter list. So, so I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna mention it now. Uh, in my top 10, but uh, I will mention the, the remix uh, because it was a new version and I loved it as well uh, because King Kendrick was on it. Um, next, we have Kodak Black Tunnel Vision. I'm not gonna say much about that track, just uh, liked it a lot. Um, Travis Scott's uh, Through the Late Night, I will mention that, and also um, Goosebumps. Uh, for the simple fact that even though like these tracks were uh, released uh, last year, I still like really enjoyed them to this day. Uh, so definitely, I wanna uh, shout out that those tracks as well. If you haven't heard Travis Scott, for example, before, definitely check him out. He's a great performer. Uh, he's a hype man, like hyper hyper. So definitely check him out. Uh, also, before getting into uh, top ten, I wanna talk about Kendrick Lamar's damn album it was perfect and if i could i would give like nine spots out of ten <laughs> to the kendrick Lamar's like uh songs like nine tracks in my top ten because like they all have been great like the album was like one of the best in the year for sure and uh probably it will end up as one of my best albums uh, of 2017 which i'm gonna make the list as well at the end of the year of top of my albums uh, but for now, yeah, I just want to mention that like songs like Ya, yeah, Element, Loyalty featuring Rihanna, Love, XXX, Fear, Duckworth, uh, they, I love them like so much and even though they are not going to be in the list, I fuck with them. Almost finished mentioning things here, Drake's More Life, um, I already included some of the songs like Blem, Get It Together and uh, Passion Fruit in my top 10 pop songs because I didn't think like I mean I thought that like um, those tracks are pop songs rather than hip hop songs you know like it was just like cool dance hall beat um, and uh, Drake singing on them so <clears throat> those tracks which I loved the most probably <laughs> out of um, More Life's uh, album uh, went to pop's list but here I want to mention like his actual rap rap, <laughs> rap, rap <laughs> hip hop songs uh, like uh, Galchester was good Sacrifices featuring 2 Chains and Young Thug in my opinion was like uh, underrated I think like that track was really good 
and people kind of slept on it a little bit. Uh, Glow featuring Kanye West because Kanye West is my man. Uh, I love Kanye West, and uh, also the track it didn't disappoint as well. Them both singing kind of was really interesting um, on the track, and like those uh, kind of um, choir like melody after their verses like. Like it was, it was really beautiful. It was good, in my opinion. Uh, two other tracks I want to mention before getting into top ten. We are finally getting getting into it. Uh, is Future Selfish, featuring Rihanna. Uh, probably it's also kind of can be considered as a pop song, um, because the beat was so chill and smooth and it was like really beautiful produced. Um, uh, I mean like hip hop songs are also beautiful produced but just, I'm just saying like the vibe was like very poppy um, could easily go into a radio actually uh, Future and Rihanna singing about uh, like um, can we be selfish and stuff like that like uh, the verses were beautiful so the track was beautiful <laughs> and um, Mike Will made it Gucci on my uh, featuring 21 Savage, YG and Migas really love the track uh, so yeah <laughs> um, so let's get into top 10 finally number 10 goes to SZA Laugh Galore featuring Travis Scott um, also, although like this album was actually released at the beginning of June already so it should have not been like in spring I believe but um, the Love Killer track was released way earlier. I think it was in April. So I was listening to it that time and you know, like I really loved it. Uh, I just, even though it's not really a hip hop track again, you know, it's kind of an R&B song, R&B soul. Uh, I would just, I really wanted to include it because like, um, you know, explicit lyrics and Caesar and Travis Scott actually kind of, we can, include them more into a hip-hop community for sure so that's why this song is here and um, just like the simplicity and the, the vibe and like the lyrics were all great and Travis Scott actually um, was really good performing on that track too he was different not as a hyper this time uh, as a like a lover as well so um, it was good to see Travis Scott doing different things as well as that he's capable of doing other things um, so yeah I like the track track 9 um, Kyle's I Spy featuring Lil Yachty. it was good um, very very like positive and like just like very funny tune to listen to I don't know like um, probably some people don't like it but it's been on the radio for a while actually the song got really popular and people enjoyed it and I fuck with it too track 8 ASAP Mob uh, Raf it featured ASAP Rocky Playboy Cardi Quavo Lil Uzi Bird and Frank Ocean uh, damn this track was amazing like I really love the track and it's been released like really recently but I'm still gonna uh, include that because like, I'm just enjoying the beat and I'm just enjoying all the performances. Like Lil Uzi Word did a great job. What's up, Rocky? My God, where are you? <laughs> like I really want an album from you because like Rakim, um, like I just forgot how like how much I love this dude because like he's been he's uh, he kind of disappeared like for a while like you know even though. We could see him in a couple of tracks. It's just like it's been so long that he, uh, from his last album, and uh, those tracks he released was kind of like okayish. Like telephone calls was good, but I don't know. Like I just miss him, like being uh, on the front line, being around, and like finally, uh, when I listened to this track. ASAP Rocky was there, like performing great, and I was like, "Oh shit! Like this, this shit is good. Like I really love it, and uh, I love uh, ASAP's performance on it." Frank Ocean, though, like Frank Ocean, just like surprised me as well. Frank Ocean can rap, and like uh, it was like really cool to hear him rapping you know, on that track. 
Uh, OZ, da, 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 no, 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 no. like I don't know, like it's just like the wife, uh, the voice of his is also incredible. Uh, him rapping was really cool, and he really implemented well. The complemented well to the beat with his voice. Track seven, <laughs> track seven, number seven on the list. Logic, Logic song, Killing Spree, featuring Enzo Elgard. Then I'm like, real shit going on in Lebanon, but I don't give a fuck, my favorite show is coming on. Hashtag pay for this, pray for that. Like, it was just like a great performance by Logic as well. Uh, I love the message he's trying to portray over there. And also like, sometimes I even like put the song, uh, like when I'm, when I'm down there, when I'm down there just like um, sleeping, I mean waking up from the sleep, in the morning and uh, I just like put in that song and just like it gives me hype and I just kind of like stand up from the bed like it helps me to like kind of stand up and like go uh, do my things in the day like just give me some little hype uh, for the day so I really love it like the beat like with the switch house like and the um, like guns implementation or like trr, trr, so like also great and uh logic where it comes with the passionate lyrics uh with the passionate performance over there which i loved number six number six joy badass legendary featuring j cole <laughs> no like when j cole is around it's always gonna be a great track like j cole is just amazing um i included him in a lot of my spots on top 20 in february uh i thought like the um album by um j cole for your eyes only was really good it was really great another classic by uh germain and um yeah like uh now we don't have that much of material to listen to J. Cole's so you, that's why you, you kinda you wanna go back and listen to all of his stuff but like as of his new stuff or this one was uh, one of the few uh, new materials by him and uh, I definitely fuck with the track uh, very chill like very kinda Jermaine Cole-ish <laughs> song and like vibe uh, because like the For Your Eyes only was really chill it was a very chill album was very um had like chill and um uh very like a relaxed kind of vibe just like laid back cat singing uh, and like rapping about real shit uh here basically same thing but just like more more like this like um uh, relaxed but still like kind of you want to grow into it a little bit like Ready for whatever comes. I hope yeah, for the best. Good. I was foolish, just like a boy that prays to only see the sun. Maybe life happens like ties. One minute to low and feel a shadow. Track five, uh, number five in the list. Uh, Drake's uh, Portland featuring Quavo and Travis Scott. We all know this beat already by this time. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Definitely a great performance, great track, and just like um, I, I love everything about this track, and it was uh, like very smart by Drake to implement the flute. Uh, well, by by Metro Boomin, <laughs> like he was fucking with the flute lately. Like um, the Futures mask off was great. Now it's time with uh, Portland, like the flutes were great uh, implementation. Hopefully we'll get some uh, more flu uh, flutes uh, in the rap game, hopefully. Track four, Future, coming out strong, featuring my man Abel, The Weeknd. Well, like very, very, very amazing track and I was really listening to it a lot. Uh, I just like the message as well here. My kindness for weakness still coming out strong. Still coming out strong. 
They take my kindness for a weakness, but I'm still coming out strong. It was just like a great message, you know, like for me personally, like I'm uh, kind of sometimes naive or like sometimes just like very kind to people for no reason. And like sometimes, you know, like people might take advantage of it if they are not good people, <laughs> you know, and so um, me like this hearing this like it was just like great and i'm about like i'm about uh so developing you know like getting better and better in the game so like it was just great like uh you take my kindness for weakness but i'm still like uh like past you and like i still uh better than you i'm still coming out strong you know that well, that was a good message for me and like the the tune the weekend's performance, of course, was great. Uh, the weekend always does a great job. Um, Futures versus was good, so uh, no complaints. Like the the track was very well produced and sounded amazing. I'm not sure why it didn't get like much recognition as it could have get because like you know like the weekend, my God, and like the future also like uh, t top top rapper basically in the game. So. I don't know why people didn't listen to it that much, but personally, I loved it a lot. Uh, we came to track three, number three. So we're already in the top three. I will give it to um, Joy Badass uh, again, uh, Rockabye Baby featuring Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q is another great uh, rapper. Like I really like his music. Uh, Color Greens featuring Kendrick Lamar, Studio. Uh, featuring BJ the Chicago Kid was like my shit back in the day like it was really uh, good like really amazing tracks I loved and uh, like also the last two albums was amazing I didn't listen for the like first one that much I know the songs but I really love like the last two albums of his Scuba Q so him featuring on uh, Drew Badass a uh, great project was also amazing for me and the, the Rockabye Baby's beat was very similar to what Schoolboy Q would have done in his music and so uh, them you know, like teaming up and making this song like was very good I love also the fuck Donald Trump mentioning and also I like the Assalamu alaikum, walaikum salam. Uh, parts of the song <laughs> it was very funny and was very good. Uh, so yeah, moving on from there, number two, we have song "Everybody" by Logic. Um, that track actually made me very curious and made me very uh, into Logic. Uh, so because like uh, before this song everybody i just like heard a couple tracks here and there like um uh, flexecution and um wrist featuring Pusha T from bobby tarantino's uh, mixtape but i didn't listen to um his um like older material like under pressure and uh, incredible uh true story albums i didn't i haven't heard of them and him coming up coming with this passionate great amazing performance it was just like really good i really loved it and i was like okay i gotta listen to uh older his material because i fuck with this song deeply like <laughs> i love the track um by the way i will post i mean i will give you uh my first reactions to this songs uh i haven't i didn't have like uh a lot of first reactions to uh, this tracks like I don't have for example uh, future Hendrix album reaction or um, I don't know like I don't have a reaction to Raph or I Spy or Scissor's new album uh, but there are a couple like Kendrick Lamar's and Drake's and Logic's albums uh, reaction you can watch if you want to uh, and uh, also um, Michael made its uh, album uh, I have Ransom to reaction as well if you want to watch and I will give it uh, the links in the down description below in the description box below so you could see like in uh, everybody's uh, single reaction I was very impressed with the dude that was dancing around and like 
I was screaming like this is amazing and uh, yeah like the track was really good uh, I just love it I just love the vibe and uh, I was listening to it hell a great amount of times um, before the album came out and after the album came out so it's been like more than two months I was listening to it now I stopped but you know like <laughs> we we listen to the some we listen to something and then when we are done with it we move on it's just how it is but it's been in my playlist for a long time and number one number one I think it should not be a surprise but number one goes to Kendrick Lamar's DNA DNA is just well number one should not be surprised because it it's gonna be Kendrick Lamar for sure. Yeah, the track selection is for my taste, and I choose DNA, not Humble. Although Humble, I think we can also put it on here because uh, it was very popular track and it was very close to me. Like it was almost as good as DNA was, and I was listening to Humble tons of times, and I still listen to it. But DNA is just like, like when it came in and like in the uh, album like when I just like got into a um, uh, damn album and it started to react and I was like like when when this, <laughs> this tracks just started playing and I was like holy shit like what is this and it was just like <gasps> and at the same time I was like wow like damn <laughs> and I just started to jump, jump around like what is this like the beat was just like uh, like fucking up my mind like it was so good so unexpectedly like amazing like uh, we came into Dan and just like right away uh, Kendrick gives you this uh, hyper track it was just so awesome I love every aspect of DNA the switch up the news implementation where like people are saying um, like that uh, hip-hop is uh, more dangerous than racism in uh, for the young generation like like all oh, everything goes so well and like i just love love dna and uh i think like it's gonna be like my um you know my like best songs i have heard in a while like you like in my, if i if i would have if i would have have the list of best rap songs ever in my life I listened to like DNA would have been like somewhere in the top because it was just so amazing and I have been listening to hip hop for a while a while for a long time I have been listening to a lot of uh, rap albums and so uh, I don't have a like short list it's pretty damn huge <laughs> like uh, out of thousands tracks like so um, yeah that's how much i love the dna track definitely check it out if you haven't been and the music video i have reacted to the music video as well it was so damn good uh don Cheadle, and don shadley <laughs> like if i'm uh pronouncing the um actress uh name right he w he did a great job uh performing on that track and uh, kendrick uh, Kendrick as well like their chemistry together like singing together like it was so damn, damn great I love the video uh, definitely check it out if you haven't checked it out yet also Humble another amazing track and yeah that's been uh, my list of uh, top 10 uh, top, yeah top 10 <laughs> hip hop list hit the like button if you like uh, uh, I'm sure like um, probably some of you are disagree with some of my selections so well, go ahead and comment uh, your thoughts and also give uh, your recommendations maybe what should I listen uh, or like what should have been uh, in this list instead of the songs I have suggested or something like that just give me your thoughts and um, yeah stay tuned for more um, subscribe to this channel and I will see you on the next one пока Хайер, Афидерзейн, Арипидерчи, Чао, Адиос и Харафис. Гудбай.